Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Just coming on with a haul video. I went to Rita Shop just to look at their new range. And I sort of bought it because I sort of liked it. Yes, they have a new range out. It came out last week or the week before. Um, so I'll show you a couple of things first before I show you the range. So I picked up some Sharpie markers on clearance. Um, these were down to five dollars a pack, which is not bad. Um, dollar twenty-five a marker. These ones are going to turn into um, alcohol sprays. We're nearly Alexis and I are nearly out of our alcohol sprays that we made up quite a while ago, and we have used them in a few videos and a few people have inquired. So we thought we'd do a tutorial on the school holidays. Basically, you take your sharpie markers and rubbing alcohol or isotopic, isopropic, isopropic. I think it's called alcohol, and you can make your own alcohol sprays and they work really well. So last time we only did one pen. And it wasn't dark enough, so I thought we'd get two pens. So that will be some fun and an upcoming tutorial. And I love those colours too. They're sort of bright, but not really bright. So they should work. So we'll try those. And then just before I show you the new collection, I'll show you the clearance stuff I got. Some of this I got as um, to go in my Happy Mail box, because I already own these ones. Um, and I usually pick things up clearance send out in Happy Mail. So these handmade stickers, sorry, handmade stamps are $1.50 from the kitchen of Handmade with Love for you, Handmade by two from Handmade with Love. So they don't amount to $1.50 each, so I grabbed a couple of those. I'm sort of stocking up on a few um, cheap things that are on clearance from the reject shop when I see them. Even though I've got them, I put them in for Happy Mail um, when I send out Happy Mail. And then this was part of their Mother's Day set. So there were several of those things in there. So again, the stamps come down to be $1.50. And these are nice stamps. So I love the flowers and beautiful oh, hello. And I love the little words on them as well. So we've got a couple of those to put in Happy Mail. And then they had some more of the Mother's Day collection down to clearance. The vellum words. So that's all what you get in a pack. You get 38 quotes and they were down to $1.50, normally $3. So they're a good deal. So it's good to, every time they bring out a new range at... Um, Reject Shop, it seems they discount some of the older ranges to make room. But it was actually funny that... There's another pack of those. These are in the clearance bin for $2, but they were still on the shelf as well. So it was interesting. So these are the Mother's Day collection. So I may use these. I do have a set of these already and I have used them. I might use them in a, in a swap that I make or they'll go in my giveaway box. You never know, we might do another giveaway. And I never picked up these. These were down to 75 cents. So I never picked up these because I thought I wouldn't use them. This is from the... I don't know what collection this goes with. I don't know. Maybe they're then and now collection, but that's quite recent. So they're little paper clips. Are they embellishment stickers or are they just stickers? I didn't think they were worth $3.00 when I bought them because you could probably easily make them but 75 cents I picked up four packets they had loads more of the clearance stuff I only picked up a few things I was being good so I don't know I might use some of those I might just put them in my giveaway box but for 75 cents I couldn't really leave them there I did leave a whole bunch more there now on to the new collection so the new collection is called I did have the name off the receipt not that it's marked anywhere on the packaging glass house it's called glass house is what's coming up on the receipt but again they, they don't put names on things so again there was a few more things that I didn't get because I just didn't think I'd use them um, the first thing is these glossies now these look like flare badges what they call flare badges so they're like epoxy on top and they've got I think cardboard at the back sorry about the glare so they're a good size they're probably just under an inch. I don't have a ruler with me. So I thought they were, and the glossies were, I haven't seen stuff like this in the new range. Excuse me. The glossies were $3 a packet. So the Reject Shop has really cool stuff. So I got a packet of those. I'll show you the papers last. I'll show you the other things they had with some paper doilies. So there's a pack of eight, and it looks like they're all crafty coloured, like brownie coloured. So they're a good size too. They're probably... I don't have a ruler with me. And what were the doilies? The doilies were quite cheap. Doilies were $2.50 a pack. And they had this pack as well. This pack only had six in it. But it's got the dotty paper. So 
so these would be great. Great size for Project Life because they're small. I wish I had my ruler. I had it. I had it before, but I'd say 10 centimetres across. Yeah, probably 10 centimetres across in diameter. So they were really cute. Then they had some butterflies. Now, I usually don't use a lot of stickers like this, but these were really cute. Oh, I actually got Rosie's Glass House. It was interesting. This was the only packet that had this topper on it. All the others had this topper. So whether this is the new topper that they're going with, because it actually does say Glass House on it, which is really interesting. But they were really cool. And they've got glitter on them as well. And they've got, they look like they've got a, yeah, an acetate layer on top and then a glitter layer, then another layer. So you could split them in two if you really wanted to. Then they had a sticker book. Now they haven't done a sticker book to match a range before. So the butterflies were $3. This sticker book was... foil statement pad these were four dollars so you get two four five i think hang on one two three oops two three four five five sheets of stickers so you can sort of see on the front and they are foiled so i don't know how well you're going to see them oh all thumbs today i'm trying to do this quickly while alexis is out of the house for a couple of hours so it's more of a pastel collection but it does have um Take the bull by the horns, that's a really nice one. She leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. So these would be good for planners or for scrapbooking. Sorry about the shine. I know that annoys everyone. So some letter stickers, some black and white ones. Today I choose Joy. All things are possible with coffee and mascara. Oh, that's it. I don't, really, I don't need coffee or mascara, so I might be sending that one to someone. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. Do what? love i do what you love love what you do so all sorts of different sayings and these look like white stickers and then some colored stickers i love the hello down the bottom that's gorgeous a cup of chi cheek chia c-h-i-c -C, i think but these i thought were gorgeous. and mainly i picked them up for the little word stickers because i thought these were cute as well but they were good value Next, I'll show you the paper pad. So they have the 6x6 six six paper pad. Sorry about the noise. I do wish they had the 12x12 12 12 paper pad. Oh, and it's got this stupid... Even though it's in a plastic bag, it's got this stupid little half thing stuck on here. So I'm not actually buying much at the moment. I'm trying to use up what we've got, but this, the reject shop always suckers me in. I don't go to Spotlight or Lincraft or anything for scrapbooking anymore. And I'm starting to get a bit more into project life and doing my actual scrapbook pages. And I use a lot of these in art journaling as well. So I'm just trying to get these wretched stickers off. I wish they wouldn't put them on. Because they are annoying to get off. And then if you rip them off, you get all sticky. You like leave a stickiness there. And the Redrick Shop's good value too. So the these... Six by six pads are four dollars for forty sheets of paper. Now it's a thinner paper, but it's good for layering. So we've got um, what do we got? It says forty sheets. Usually it's two sheets of forty designs. So I'm just wondering if you're going to see that. So it's single sided paper. That one's cute with little hot air balloons. Pink, with green. You should be able to see that, all right. I love that one that's purple. This range has a bit of purple in it, which normally you don't see in scrapbook ranges. That's beautiful. I wish they'd do this in 12 inch. Oh, that's got dots, um, gold dots on it, foil. Oh, wow. That's a bit shiny. Oh, that's pretty, but it's not gold foiled. But that's pretty. And some swans. Sorry, I'm going quite quick. And some letters by the looks of it. That's pretty in gold foil. That's nice. That one's nice. Oh, that's pretty. You could cut those out as embellishments. See, that would look nice in 12 inch. Stripes, green, must be getting to the end. That one, which is very close to the front one, and back to the start. So they're very nice. 
and then they had the die cut packs, so 118 die cuts. And I like these die cuts because they're small. Like you look at a lot of the crepe paper and a lot of those brands, their die cuts are getting really big. You get about 40 per pack and they're about twice the price. So the die cut packs are always $3.50 I believe. They might have gone up to $4.00. Memory cards are four dollars. Butterflies, cardstock die cuts. They are four dollars. They could have already been four dollars, but they sort of—they're just gorgeous. So I will quickly flick through the pack. Oops, just trying to get the staples out. And I do apologise for my yawning. Your yawning. Oh my god, I can't talk today. My yawning. I do have a good excuse at the moment. Poor Alexis is sick with a cold, and she was up all night coughing last night and vomiting. So that was fun. Um, she always gets a cough and then coughs so much she vomits, which and then you got to stay up with her because if she coughs and vomits and swallows it, and then she can, yeah, things happen. Um, so yeah, that was fun staying up to. I think she finally nodded off about six a.m. this morning, and then I got up about ten, so I've had not much sleep. So she's gone with her dad for a couple of hours, so I thought I would do this whole video. So beautiful die cuts. So they're nice on the pastel side, and they're nice and small. Bonjour. What's this say? fabulous so they're nice small ones which is really good some tags some tickets some old-fashioned things lots of words love and laughter or some nice roses oh lots more tickets the one that caught me in here was a horse carousel a lot more tickets beauty some little butterfly tags maybe I should zoom you in a bit do you want to be zoomed in a bit let me Watch me do it the wrong way. Yeah, I told you I'd do it the wrong way. Here we go. Some today. Shine. So these are cute little... There's a horseshoe one. Happy Go Lucky. That's what sort of sold me the horse carousel. That is just gorgeous in the green. Oh, hot air balloon. What's this one say? It's your day to shine. So you get two of each, which is really cool in this collection. So you could even split it with a friend. Um, some little flags. Beautiful. So this would be nice for pocket style scrapbooking. I love the couch too. Isn't the couch gorgeous? Oh, and the old typewriter. That's cute too. Um, tell me your story. You light up my life. They're cute. I normally don't do pastel ranges. And I normally don't like pastel things because I'm more of a bright, not bright as in fluorescent, but a more bold person. Oh, some little postage stamps which are cute. And some little tags. And some yellow flowers. And a little word that says your. So that is an awesome collection. And they're not really pastel. They're sort of on the darker side of pastel. So you could always co coordinate them with darker colours. Which would be really nice. So just trying to get these back in the bag. I'm trying to store all my collections with my rigid shop together. So my die cuts, my papers, because they're all small, sort of get put into a Ziploc bag and stored together so I can use them together. Then they have the Project Life cards, or the, the cards, which always have cute sayings on them. So the cards are again $4, and you get 40 So we'll go through the 4 by 6 ones first. Let's make magic, so you get one. Do I zoom out a bit here? Looks a bit washed. Sorry. Looking a bit washed out, but it's a nice mauvey purple. Um, and I think it's looking blue on the screen. It's really hard for me to see the screen. Let's make magic. On the back is a nice yellow. Can you even see these? I'm hoping this is... It's hard to see in the viewfinder. Do not lose this card. That's funny. With a bird and 26 on it. Oh, an alarm clock on the back. Hot air balloon. And today is... Oh, that's awesome. With a checklist and some journaling. One that has a postcard. And such a glorious day. Today, yesterday, tomorrow. That's nice with the file tabs. Oh, what is, oh that's like a carousel looking up. Um... This is magical. I do have some pictures of Alexis on a horse carousel, which I should fish out when she was younger. Let me tell you a story. Actually, I think I have some of her dressed up last year on a horse carousel at Halloween. That's gorgeous. The best things ha happen unexpectedly. So they're the four by six cards. And then these ones you always get two of. So what I'll do is I'll put them down this way. So a list. And then we've got, oh, a Monday to Thursday, Monday to Friday. Looks like old ledger and smile. 
Smiles are always in fashion. I'm sorry. I do have, find it hard to read this tone on tone. It's with my eyesight. I find that really hard to read. This is especially for something for being outstanding. You are one of a kind. Oh, that's pretty. And nice wood grain on the back. Nice map sort of blueprint on that one. Anything is possible. A day in the life. Oh, I like the suckers. Suckers, it's very American. Um, like the lollipops on the back. Fantastic. And just a plain print. A frame and butterflies. And on the back is like a ticket of some kind. Do not lose this card. <laughs> Dress to impress. That's nice. Wonderful. Diary. Another journaling card. Stay golden. Purple. I'm loving the purple in here. I'm really, my favourite colour is purple and you don't get a lot of collections with purple done really well. Hello Weekend. Oh, some upside, insides of umbrellas. That's kind of cute. What's this say? Month, day, last name, first name, street, address, city, postcode. I suppose that'd be cute for a travel one. A pretty awesome life. Yeah, life is pretty awesome. That's like French. You make me feel happy so that's really hard for me to read sometimes the back you are a pocket of sunshine find inspiration every day I'm loving the purple top goals be yourself be real be unique that is really cool notes live to inspire and oh it looks like I got a bonus one I got three of the last one that's really cool won't say no to bonuses collect moments not things memories Yes, we should we should be all about that, collect moments, not things. But as crafters, we collect things about moments. So that is the newest Reject Shop collection. Um, hope you can find all the bits. They did have a few other bits. And I was going to do a bit of vlogging in the store, but I'm still a bit self-conscious about doing that out in public. And I was going to take some pictures of the things I didn't grab to show you as well, but I didn't end up doing that because um, I was rushing to get to an appointment. Maybe next time I'm out, I will... And there's a new collection out i might vlog a little and show you a little about our reject shop so that's the collection i'm hoping to use this especially with the horse carousels it would be awesome to use if the colors work probably they won't on a page with alexis oh, colors might not work with halloween because i know i got her on the carousel at luna park last year so I'm loving the purple. If you're into purple, this is a beautiful collection. If you're into pastels and sort of... It's not really pastel, but it's not really... It's more like sherbet colour. I'd probably call it sherbet because these are quite sort of intense. Um, so this probably gives you a good idea of the colours. So I'm just loving this collection. And when I saw so much purple in it, I fell in love with it. I wasn't going to get it, but yeah, well, standing there going, if I don't get it today... It may not be there tomorrow. That's the only thing with the reject shop is you've got to grab it when you see it. And the little horse caught me and yes. And they're really cheap too. So thank you for watching and I will catch up with you another day. Bye for now.